Gus is making that great sacrifice to wait hooked up to the plow. Just wanted to show you this. Oops, let's give it a better view. I don't know if that happens in other people's yards, but again, we don't, I don't use chemicals here. The only fertilizer this lawn gets is every one of these leaves gets chopped up into the grass. I am not dragging tarps of leaves into the woods or bagging leaves. So I just mow and I mow and I mow. What happened there? Why is there an empty? What is with that? What was there? Did I have leaves? Why is there Martians? It's the only answer. It must be Martians. Why is there a rectangle in the middle of there? Was any, there was no car parked. Anyway, I think this is, uh, I just think this is so cool. It's, yeah. And so, like I said, it started there and then it moved over to this side and now you see how it spread. So uh, today I'm not gonna, let's see, the gospel is Gospel of John chapter 5, four, verse 14 to 31, I think. And I don't know what I tried to, I didn't spend a whole lot of time trying to figure it out. Um, I did look in my Bible to try to see if there were any notations to clarify some of the verses. And there was a couple, but nothing that answered. It's a lot. There's a lot there. And I think Jesus is saying that the John, the, I'm not even going to try. And then he tries. John, they didn't, they listened to John. He doesn't want. So Jesus is saying that God testifies, the Holy Spirit testifies to him. He doesn't want people, he doesn't want man to testify to him. But John testified to him. But Moses testified to, to Jesus. To, to Jesus as Lord, I suppose, because everywhere that God and the Holy Spirit are, Jesus is, and vice versa, and versa, all the three ways that goes around. If the Holy Spirit's present, Jesus and God are. If Jesus is on the cross, then the Holy Spirit and God are there too. If God is creating the universe, Jesus and the Holy Spirit were there. We had some question about some people went thinking there were that okay anyway about the trinity and so wherever one is the other two are as well one god three persons it's complicated yet it's simple one god three persons and remember we don't we're we're thinking through human ways like how can how can one thing be three things? Uh, but think in God's ways. Um, he's ma he's dumbing it down. Okay, I don't, this is not the, uh, th this is my thought. God is dumbing it down for us tiny puny human brains. Your human, your puny human brain to get a grasp of it. Because God is, you know, all that. He's all love, all knowledge, all power. How can our tiny pea brains fully wrap our heads around it? So he gives us these simplified things. One God, three persons. Don't try to analyze it to the point where you're going to fully... It's a mystery, but it's a mystery that we can get the, enough of the idea today to sustain to sustain us until we get to heaven where God can make it more uh, clear for us. So this was not what I wanted to talk about. Uh, so anyway, that was the gospel. Uh, and that's not really a, probably a good explanation of today's gospel. Maybe it's an explanation of the Trinity. I don't know. But... Um, that's the gospel today, and this is the front yard, and it's going to be more. 
it's going to spread and it's going to be thicker even than this. So remember to ask the saints to pray for us. Uh, who's the first saint of today? Don't remember. Focusing on the, on the mass readings for today. So remember to ask saints to pray for us and remember to pray for the souls in purgatory.